man. So holding time is over. Got my stuff in the car. Headed to the truck yard out in Lakeland, Florida. Came to say bye to my parents. And Chico right there. Chico, what's up, Chico? Say what's up to the people. All right, man. So we out of here, man. Headed to the truck yard. What is up YouTube? What is up gente? What is up people? Well, Davis transfer has officially trans has officially transitioned over to DB Schenker or USA Truck or something like that. I'm still trying to understand the whole situation. Well, when I returned to work last Friday um, I sent a message out. I was supposed to, um, you know, get a load to, to rock and roll out here on these streets or highways or whatever. The day prior to that, before returning to work, DM sent me a message talking about I needed to get my truck um, decals re basically upgraded. So I needed to get, you know, the DB Shanker logos put on the truck and get the Davis Transfer logos taken off. So I went ahead and basically Friday morning asked for a load. And what ended up happening was my DM said, okay, I'll get you a load. But I have to get approval from USA Truck or DB Shanker first. Okay, no issue. Well, I sent another message out about 2 p.m. And about what's going on, why is it taking so long. I never got a response back, man. And that really annoyed me because to have no communication, what the heck. So then I waited. Nighttime came along, no load. Fast forward to Saturday morning, I sent a message about what's going on. Give me a load. I want to run. I'm ready to come back to work. You know? Eventually, Somebody else responded back to me who wasn't my DM. And a um, dude named Javier sent me a message saying, I got you a load, but you got a deadhead from Lakeland, Florida to Valdosta, Georgia. And you'll get a load taking you to Texas. I get the load. And I start rolling out to um, Texas. I'm on I-10. I figured, hey, let me... um. You know, let me get go ahead and scale this um this loadout. And when I stopped to use this cat scale, the pilot, my um, mobile app didn't work because it said that the card was inactive or whatever. The company Calm Data card. All right, it is what it is. I go ahead and I just keep rolling. You know, I slid my tandems forward. Anyway, so. It's about to be 6 p.m. or something like that, I remembered. And I ended up getting to Mariana, Florida on I-10. And um, I pulled over to go ahead and fuel up so I could keep riding through, throughout the night. But when I pulled up to fuel up, my card was rejected, declined twice. So I go ahead and park, call up um, Davis. And that's when they tell me, hey, no, you're supposed to get a USA truck fuel card. You're no longer... Davis is closing. Their account is closing. You cannot use that card anymore. Well, nobody told me. And I left the Lakeland Yard without a new fuel card. So, I can't get any answers. What am I supposed to do? Finally, I just figured, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and park here until I, we can figure out what's going on. They tell me, okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, go ahead and just park there and... Because you can't keep getting... You can't roll, obviously, without fuel. And you can't get fuel with that card. And that sucked, man. That sucked. I ended up paying for reserve parking because there was no more spots left. It was, you know, it was 6 p.m. 15 minutes later, after I paid for parking, I get a message. Hey, we're going to go ahead and, you know, put some funds in that car so that way you can fuel up. And you can get rolling and deliver that load to Texas. And um, so I mentioned about the paid parking, and they're like, yeah, we'll reimburse it. I go ahead and head out to 
Texas after I fueled up. Anyways, after Texas, I, you know, I sent a message. Once I got there, you know, I sent a message. Hey, you know, could you route me, to, you know, somewhere to pick up a card, you know, from one of the terminals, you know, the USA Trucks terminals. Because Davis Transfer is a really small company. You know, they only had um, a Lakeland yard and they had a, a yard out in Carnesville. And they had a drop yard in Valdosta. So I was like, can you, load, you know, route me somewhere to I can so I can pick up a card. I never got an answer to that and so I picked up a load in Tyler Texas took it to Birmingham and on my way to Tyler Texas I ran out of fuel I only had a quarter tank left I sat there a whole day because they were trying to figure out what to do eventually somebody in after hours you know put some funds in the cart again or something because the next morning I attempted to fuel up and it worked picked up the load in Birmingham I mean, in Tyler, Texas, and took it to Birmingham, delivered, sent a message, same thing. Hey, can I route me back somewhere so I can pick up a car? Didn't get an answer. I got a load to Lafayette, Georgia, to take to Louisville, Kentucky. And that's where I decided, you know what, I'm not going to pick up this load because something is something has to happen. Because I'm, you know, constantly having to figure out what to do for fuel. And I was decided to be a Karen and go to the USA Truck DB Shanker uh, Facebook group and just complain basically. And nobody was listening to me. And eventually, some upper up or something, I don't know who they were, made a phone call to me and told me, you know what, here's what we're gonna do. If you wanna pick up a load, go ahead and pick up that, you know, you know, that load going to Louisville, Kentucky. And I'll route you over to Dayton, Ohio. We have a terminal there and they can take care of you. And that's what ended up happening, man. I ended up coming to Dayton, Ohio to pick up. I mean, to pick, yeah. I dropped the load out in Louisville, Kentucky. Started heading over to Dayton, Ohio. And I'm here. And I'm, you know, I'll go ahead and show you guys a little tour of this place, man. It's a really nice place, to be honest. But, before I do that, man, I'm still just going to say, it's kind of left a sour taste in my mouth for, you know, about this whole transition, you know. I just don't get why nobody told me before I left to go on home time. I went for a whole week on home time. And I don't know why nobody didn't tell me anything. Also, why the heck wasn't I given a fuel card? I mean, I eventually figured it out. It was because... The driver manager, the new driver manager I was assigned to, supposedly quit that Friday morning. So she never even sent me a message or let me know about, hey, go get your new dang um, fuel car or in the office or something. It is what it is, man. We'll see. I'm going to, this is, again, it's just my first week back on. So we'll see how this stuff goes or what happens. We'll see, man. I'll keep you guys updated. But I got a new camera, man, so, you know, I'm going to go ahead and test it out, record out here, and show you guys what's, what's the deal with this Dayton, Ohio, USA truck terminal. It looks pretty nice, too. <laughs> question for any of you viewers has anyone ever driven for USA truck you know at one point or another it feels kind of weird you know because having been a driver for Davis transfer almost seven months and then to have this transition happen it feels weird you know most feels like that feeling of being the new kid on the block <laughs> I'm just kidding but it just feels weird it just feels odd especially because every truck here and trailer here is mostly USA truck now that's weird that there's a CR England trailer here. 
I didn't even know the USA used to do flatbed. That's weird. But this is Dayton, Ohio yard. I'm the only Davis trailer hauling guy out here right now. I wonder if any other previous Davis transfer guys ever come to this yard. I don't think we ever do because a lot of our lanes is mostly the southeast. Well, who knows? This is a really nice place though. Seems to be the shop up there. It's a pretty big shop. There's the trucks. DB Shanker was still on the new trucks. Oh wow, they even got Peter belts here. Hmm. I'd like me a nice little Peter belt, man. I don't know. If I could handle it, it might be too much truck for me. <laughs> I might not be enough of a trooper trucker yet. You know what I'm saying, homeboy? But, you know, I guess these are trucks waiting to be serviced or new trucks or something. It's pretty cool, man. And then I'm all the way over there. I don't know if you guys can see me. We'll walk over to where I'm at. That's my baby right there. Y'all see me standing out here, really sticking out like a sore thumb with a Davis transfer trailer. It is what it is though. Anyways, that's the new logo recently. This is basically the driver's lounge and where they have orientation and whatnot. 